What's up, guys? Your boy, Sir Cooper here from Rhyme Time TV. And uh, today, I'm going to be doing a video of my top five. It's another top five video. So, yeah. Um, can I help you? So, yeah. So, my number one. Number one. Hey, hey, number one. Hey, number, number one. One. Number one. Ed and Nitty. So yeah, Ed and Nitty was my favorite video. Uh, not video. I'm already messing up. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ed and Nitty was my favorite TV show. I love Ed and Nitty because it was very funny to me. Like they did poor Ed so wrong. They made him seem so dumb. TV for me. He was dumb, but okay. There's no explanation. He was pretty dumb. Um. Uh, Ooh, 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 bring it around. Oh, <laughs> sorry, taking me back to my uh, <laughs> you got served days. Why the fuck you lying? So yeah, the reason why I love Ed and Eddie because it was very creative. Uh, as a kid, it made me feel like I could do anything. I could create anything. I would take a bag of chips and a can, put it together, make fast food. Get that? You got that? You got, you got that, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Why I love you, hey. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of the reasons why I really love uh, Ed and Eddie. So yeah, moving on. So my number two would have to be do. That's a cold drum line. I say do 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 do. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Okay, so now anybody who was in the seventh grade, sixth grade around two thousand, say nine ten. About, yeah, about 9, 10, like, late 2008. I don't know. They ask me all these questions. You know how fun, how, how like, amazing it was to watch Foster Stone for Imaginary Friends. Uh, Blue, Max, uh, Coco, come on, who's the, the tall, tall dude that uh, played basketball, look like, uh, what's his name? Look like Jerry West or Julius Irving. Yeah, Julius Irving. Tall man, uh, who else? It was a couple other people. It was a couple other things. One thing I did think about that TV show, I will be honest with you about, is that the people that created them, pe the, the people that created those imaginary friends must have been crazy because the big, uh, if I recall correctly, the big basketball player dude was created by a grown man. Imaginary friend for a grown man. <laughs> Now, I can't judge. Where's Mr. Snooks? Mr. Snooks? Where are you, Mr. Snooks? Alright. Okay, moving on. I'm going to show you the bear I found, but whatever. I like Foster's Home, Imaginary Friends, just for the purity of the imagination. It was very fun. It was very wild, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Ooh, loved it. Ooh, loved it. Ooh, yeah. Moving on, so my number three, my number three, my number three, 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 three. So my number three favorite movie, not movie. Why am I messing up? This is supposed to be professional, Profe professional. <clears throat> my number three favorite show of all time would have to be Martin. What? <laughs> A real man wouldn't need any help, Martin. Well, every man's not built like you, Pam. Come on. Come on, Pam. Wow. Bro, man. Gina. Oh, gee. Who oh. Lord. Mm -mm. Pam. Oh, this is <laughs> Yo, Tommy, big old ball, crispy head. And then you got, um... Uh, Cole, <laughs> Cole was so stupid, dog. Yeah, well, Martin, man, Martin was a man. I love that show. It was a little adultish to watch as a kid. I will admit that, but uh, it was a very, very good show for me because it took place in my city, Detroit, and it was very fun. I, I honestly, it was, it was real fun to me. I really loved the comedy, comedy, the family, the friends that uh, went around, and some of the life lessons that came from it. It was a very good show to me. I really loved it. I enjoyed it. So yeah, all right, all right. So my number four 
favorite show of all time would be that show Raven. That show Raven. <laughs> That's me. One second. She was asking me if I'm ready to eat. So yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um you see my play? You see my play? It was good. Alright, so I love That's a Raven just because uh, it was a very good thing for a childhood show for me. Plus, it was because, uh, honestly, it's like African Americans, we can't, like, that was just a very good, I feel like that, that was just the, uh, the epitome of childhood for me, for being a colored, colored, a black man, black child. It was, um, it really showed some of the old schoolness that come from my side and from my people with the fried chicken and the watermelon and all these some of the problems that we had faced throughout uh, some of the adversity we faced some of the adversity faced in regular people childhood no matter what color you know it was a very mixture of a whole bunch of things and that's what I really liked it for um so yeah yeah all right so my number five it's funny it's number five. It's the final. Alright, so my number five would have to be Teen Titans. I love Teen Titans. Cyborg, my man. Cyborg was my man. Okay, dude. Keep your eye on the cookie. <laughs> Starfire, you already know. <laughs> but uh, I love Teen Titans. I like the original. I don't like Teen Titans though. No, I mean it's okay. I I, I watch it here and there. But um, mine was just all Teen Titans, man. The first original one is kind of dark. Um, very good with humor. It was very more action thrill. I really, really, really like that show just for that fact. I used to watch it all the time. So, yes, that I really like that show. That was my fifth, fifth, and fifth, and my fifth, fifth. How many times am I going to say fifth? I just said it again. Stop. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, then leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. Right there. <laughs> if you want to see more of this, subscribe. I had a we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Shaytoo. I fuck on that bitch and we lay up. I fuck on that bitch and we lay up. I fuck on that bitch and we lay up.